Hello, my name is Yvonne. Thank you for pausing with me today. In the service on the 15th of May, Justin prayed very movingly about people going through difficult circumstances. And as much as we've moved on from the pandemic, there are now a host of other issues that we are coping with. I too felt prompted to focus today's session on the strength that comes from the Lord and how we cope with difficult times. So to start with, let's consider two questions. Firstly, how do we react when trouble strikes? And secondly, how do we keep on going in the midst of difficult times, especially when there seems no way out? So I love to look back through the Bible at biblical heroes. And I have four today that uh, will give us a few clues to answering these questions. First of all, Joseph. Now he was betrayed by his brothers and sold as a slave and later again by Potiphar's wife and put into jail. There must have been times when God's promises seemed far away from his current reality. King Hezekiah had a quarter of a million Assyrian soldiers camped around the city. They were taunting him that they were going to overthrow the city the following morning. He was terrified. Daniel refused to bow down to the statue that the king had made, and he was thrown into a den of very hungry lions who were eyeing him up as their dinner. Paul, on a number of occasions, found himself beaten and thrown into jail for preaching the message of Jesus. So what lessons can we learn from these examples? Well, firstly, the situation our heroes find themselves in does not define them or their relationship with God. They might be fearful in that time, but they hold on to faith for the Lord to deliver them from their situation. They might be fearful, but they do not give in to the fear. Secondly, going through difficult times in life is part of the undulations of life, as Julie spoke about a few weeks ago. In Ecclesiastes, we read that there is a season for everything. And Psalm 30 verse 5 tells us that weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Whatever situation you're in right now, it will not be forever. We also have tools at hand that we can use in difficult times, including prayer and praise. In Acts 16, Paul and Silas were in jail, in stocks, and they had just endured a severe beating, but they were singing praises to God. Now, singing praise to God in difficult times, well, that can be hard, because if you don't feel like praising, well, it's hard to praise. But this is exactly when we should be praising, because that act of singing through the difficult times is a statement to build faith that God is in control. He will sustain me. He will deliver me. He will never leave me, never forsake me. When Jesus ascended to heaven, he assured the disciples that a helper was coming. And that was the Holy Spirit. We have the Spirit with us at all times. We are not alone. And we also have community around us. We have friends, brothers and sisters in Christ who will gladly pray and stand in faith with us in difficult times when we need it. I'd also love to encourage you to build up a selection of Bible verses that you can look at regularly uh, when maybe you're feeling a bit low. King David was on the run from Saul and he was living in a cave absolutely fearful for his life. And this is where he wrote many of his psalms and they can be so encouraging to read. Two that I'll give to you now. Psalm 112 verse 1. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delights in his commands. And Psalm 16 verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. A few other verses from the Bible I'd like to share with you today. Isaiah 12 verse 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. 
Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who have loved him, who have been called according to his purpose. And Romans 5, verse 3, but we also rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character and character hope. I pray today that whatever circumstance you would find yourself in, that you would use these tools to build upon your faith and stand in the strength that comes from the Lord. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you for joining. Amen. Thank you.